Hey guys, today I'm here with the Barricade Adventure HD front bumper fitting all 2018 JL Wranglers. This is going to be a great starter mod for you guys out there looking for an aggressive off-road look to the front end of your JL. Not only that, but you're going to get a lot of protection for your front end as well as this being a fully capable front bumper. This will be able to carry over your factory fog lights. You're also getting a couple of recovery points, a couple of tabs for light mounting options, and this will be winch ready. This will actually be your most affordable option at the moment at $270 and considering bumpers can range anywhere from roughly $300 to the budget friendly brands all the way up to roughly $1,500 for the more premium brands I think you're getting a great deal out of this. Install is going to be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter taking you a total of about one hour in your driveway so speaking of the install let's jump into that now. So the first step to removing our stock bumper is to remove our splash guard, which is going to be held in by eight pop clips. So you can grab a flathead and go ahead and remove those. So first we're going to remove the two pop clips holding on the top of the splash guard. You can just get a flathead screwdriver and those should be pretty easy to pop out. This part's gonna be a little difficult to see, but you do have six pop clips holding in the front of the splash guard. So you can just use the same flathead and remove those. You can also use a trim removal tool, but since this is a tight area, a small flathead will do the trick. Once those are off, you can remove your splash guard. So our next step is to remove our lower splash guard. So it's gonna be eight pop clips like we had on our top splash guard and two eight millimeter bolts. So you can use a trim removal tool to get to these. So if you don't have a trim removal tool, you can use a flathead again, but it's a little bit easier with a trim removal tool on these ones. Our JL has end caps holding on the back of our bumper, so we have to remove these six pop clips holding that on. Again, you can just take a flathead and pop those off. Now we can disconnect our fog lights. So our next step is to remove the skid plate underneath here and it's going to be held on by two 16 millimeter bolts. Our next step is to remove the four nuts on the studs on either side with an 18 millimeter socket. So with the splash guard off, you can access the inner bolts that are holding on your bumper. All of that is finally disassembled, we can remove our bumper. So once we take our stock bumper off, the factory wiring harness for our fog lights will still be inside the bumper. In order to get it out, we need to remove the front plastic cover off of the bumper and remove a couple of pop clips so we can transfer the stock wiring harness over to our new bumper. So there's gonna be a pop clip holding in the back of the harness that's just gonna be holding in place. You can remove that. 
And now we can remove our plastic cover. There's going to be a number of 7 millimeter bolts that you have to remove around the bumper. So when you're removing the plastic cover, you need to take the hooks out. So now that we have our plastic cover off, it will expose all of the pop clips. So you can take your trim removal tool and remove all of those that are holding in the wiring harness. After everything's disconnected, you can feed it through the hole and pull it out. So the reason why we had to go through all of that mess is because the new JL will have one factory wiring harness to connect both of the fog lights, as to where the JK had two separate connections for each of the fog lights. So let's transfer this over into the Jeep. So sitting these two next to each other, you can already tell how many benefits that you're getting out of this new HD front bumper compared to the stock one. To start off, you're getting that aggressive off-road look to add to the front end of your JL. With being aggressive, this is also going to provide a lot more protection with the bull bar up front to protect your grill, as well as being made of heavy-duty steel, so it's going to be able to take a hit off-road. It also has a black powder coat finish on it, which is going to give you that off-road look, as well as resist any rusting or corrosion on the bare metal. Along with the makeup of this bumper, you're also going to get a couple of features that you don't get out of your stock bumper. For starters, you have the D-ring mounts and the D-rings on the front for recovery instead of the factory tow hitches. You also have a built-in universal winch plate that'll accept a winch up to 12,000 pounds. And up top on your bull bar, you're going to have two mounting tabs to mount any accessory lightings of your choice. I would also like to mention that in order to mount up your factory fog lights to your new HD front bumper, that you will need the OEM LED fog lights. So enough about our stock bumper, let's bolt up our new one. So since we had the OEM LEDs on our JL, we were able to swap over our fog lights. So you're gonna need a seven millimeter socket to get out each fog light. In order to swap over our fog light, we need to install our retaining clips for our new screws. So all you have to do is place them in with the hole facing the back end of the bumper. Once those are in place, you can place your OEM LED. And then you can take the provided screws and a Phillips head screwdriver and screw them into the retaining clips. So now we're ready to mount up our front bumper. Use your legs, not your back. So unlike the stock bumper, this is going to have two studs on either side. So you have to line those up. So after we have our studs through the mounting holes, we can attach our hardware. So you're going to use a 16 millimeter socket to tighten that down. 
And once you tighten down one, it should straighten the bumper out. So you'll be able to attach all of your other hardware. So you might have to use a swivel to access the top bolt, just because it's in a little bit of a tight location. So you wanna make sure that the side of the harness with two connections is on the passenger side, so you can plug that in now. After that is connected, you can connect your fog light. Then you can connect the other side. So because the fog lights on the stock bumper are farther away than this bumper, this wiring harness will be a little bit too long. All you have to do is take a couple zip ties and tuck it up and out of the way to clean up the wiring. So after your wiring is all cleaned up, then you're all set to go. If you have a 2018 JL, and if you're looking for some front end protection as well as an aggressive look, you can check out the Barricade Adventure HD front bumper right here at extremeterrain.com.